Good afternoon from the studios at CKUW 95.9 FM, Campus and Community Radio in Winnipeg. I'm Tim, and that's Daniel on guitar. We are pleased to bring you our program for the next hour called 48 and 12, Older and Younger. In the University of Winnipeg's Centennial Hall, up to the fourth floor and then up a flight of stairs, it's CKUW, a wonderful haven for radio nerds, run by the volunteers, a board of directors, and a tiny staff. A real welcoming place. I always had a good feeling going up to the station. We enjoyed hosting our summer fill-in show about good times at the Folk Festival, the Great Woods Music Fest, cycling adventures, and environmental issues like fighting malathion spraying in Winnipeg. We put in an application for our own regular slot and during September filled in once for the Twang Trust, and I began taking a turn once a month in the 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Saturday slot. Then we learned we could start our own show, Tuesday, October 26th. Presenting Roots and Berries. Ingredients, riding, reading, and rocking out. Roots and Berries. It's wholesome, organic, fresh, and wild. It's homemade here at CKW Studios and all natural. Warning, may contain traces of nuts. We are your hosts, Daniel and Tim. Digging, Digging down deep. deep. And reaching up high, roots and berries. We did a solstice program with stories from the book Reaching for the Sun, songs by the Weird Sisters and Bim. Then it was time to plan for Fun Drive. It's the radio program that stills the wind. It's somewhat focused on our three R's. It's co-hosted by Daniel. Dude. And Tim. Dad. It's Roots and Berries. But it's not on now. When? Tune in every Tuesday from noon to one. Hey, what are our three R's? Well, reading. Books, because we like to read them and sometimes we give them away. Riding. Bicycles, Dad, because we're Earth-friendly dudes. And rocking out. <laughs> So remember, listen to CKUW every Tuesday from noon to 1 p.m. for Roots and Berries! April of 2005, we got a ride to Brandon with our canoe and paddled back on the Assiniboine, stopping in Spruce Woods Park to find a payphone and call in to CKUW to be interviewed live on our own Roots and Berries. We saw our show become official in the CKUW program guide in Stylus Magazine. And I continued taking a turn doing the early morning Saturday program. During the summer, we again did shows about trips and music festivals. Our recounting of a wild weekend at Great Woods is a whole nother story. In September, we promoted the Harvest Moon Festival and enjoyed a two-day bike trip to Clearwater. Then came our first anniversary on air. Our second fun drive and my first year as a fun drive assistant handling pledges in the info booth with co-worker Mal Truman. Let's go! Hey kids, got your tricycle wheels stuck in a snowdrift? Waiting for the mud to melt so you can go splashing again? Well, why not puddle up to your radio on Saturday mornings from 8 to 10 for our program Mud Puddle Radio. It's about fun music, good books, and the birthday club. Give us a listen and call in to report your favorite mud puddle. Saturday mornings on ZKUW. That spring, I helped plan a big party for our station's seventh anniversary of going on air. And that was a moment of dead air in honor of college radio. LITE stands for Local Investment Toward Employment. LITE's mission is to promote community economic development by supporting inner city initiatives in Winnipeg that build capacity and provide jobs. On Wednesday, October 19, 2006, Tim and I embarked on LITE's third annual Dine and Dash bus tour. Cool. Well, one more question. How, do you know how LITE is involved? How it has helped Nietzsche? Can you say anything about that? Yes, uh, LITE uh, promotes uh, Nietzsche Foods because uh, they, they, they try to promote it in the program they have in uh, that breakfast, in that, which is coming up next month. 
I continued with Mud Puddle Radio. Longtime host Jenny Smith retired, so I carried on with the show and was pleased to have guests from time to time, including a youngster named Michael, whose father brought him in to be on my show for the day and took this photo. It was a treat. For our Fun Drive 2007 show, we invited the comics from Crumbs to talk about their work, our program, and community radio. I was pleased to be hired again as a Fun Drive assistant working in the info booth with Mal Truman. Stylus Magazine featured a profile of us as hosts of Roots and Berries. In August, we canoed from Chalet Beach to Beauzegeur, stopping at the Broken Head service station to call in and tell guest host Robin about our adventures. Roots and Berries moved to Thursdays and became Isobar, largely a project of Daniel's. But we did perform together at the CKUW Talent Show, doing our song, Cover of the Stylus Mag. I was pleased to fill in for Robin on Hit the Big Wide Strum Pal and was joined by my pal Jack. We talked about starting a new show called Jack and the Janitor on Monday mornings, bright and early. I was glad to be back in the info booth as a fun drive assistant, sharing the work with Curtis. On Isobar, our fun drive guests were Winnipeg actors Sharon Bajer and Carson Natras. Want to bicker or just banter? Tune in. Jack and the Janter was one of the ways I promoted our Monday morning program. But in April, I began a Friday afternoon program called The Vinyl Ward. Sometimes I felt like I had a split personality hosting more than one show at a time. But Jack and the Janitor ended, and I carried on focusing solely on the vinyl ward. On Friday, July 11th, I hosted two programs besides mine, as many of our peeps were out at the Folk Fest. But I continued to wade through our station's vinyl and my own in an ordered alphabetical manner for the vinyl ward, now cataloging CKW's LPs as I went. In October 2008, I produced this promo postcard to show a melding of the two vinyl collections. Then it was soon Fun Drive 2009, and I was glad to be rehired as co-assistant with Curtis in the info booth. The vinyl ward was in a prime slot as Fun Drive wraps up on Friday afternoons, so I felt the pressure and produced some choice slash weird incentive prizes, invited dynamic duo Twilight Hotel to help with the spirit, and our efforts brought in a pretty good response. The following week I did a thank you show to the 15 plus donors. In April I celebrated one year of doing the Vinyl Ward and I was so glad to have Daniel back as guest and co-host. My vinyl cataloging efforts did not go unnoticed and the CKUW Music Department nominated me for a volunteer award which I was thrilled to receive at the Royal Albert Diner Room event. I treasure this little plaque a lot. That summer I again did fill-ins and on the Friday of the Folk Festival I hosted four programs between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. I needed the time to keep plowing through the vinyl now on the artists beginning with the letter S. And I often had guests who would bring in their own vinyl. The vinyl award came to an end in November and we changed the name to CT Scans which stood for Cassette Tape Scans and continued in that slot. So keep warm people and uh, be kind to the trees and the sleeping squirrels. Keep on talking to the tree squirrels even now in the winter. They'll hear you in their dreams. Alright so next is a long segment. It's a spoken word thing I found on a tape here at CKUW. A fellow cassette enthusiast named Adam was my co-host most of the time on CT Scans, and we did Fun Drive 2010. Very fitting that our Fun Drive art showed a boombox on Winnipeg. And I was hired again as a Fun Drive assistant. While co-hosting CT Scans, I began cataloging CKW's cassette collection, for which I received another plaque at the Volunteer Awards. When we had listened and shared all those tapes, and Adam's and all mine, we finally ended the show in late June. I did fill-ins during the summer, but was traveling from fall until spring 2011, then glad to return to CKW. 
I guest hosted Black Mask every Wednesday all through that May and helped organize an A-Zone fundraiser with CKW Broadcast Live, 24 hours of Winnipeg talent from Mondragon Restaurant. Later that year, I took over an early morning Wednesday slot already called Rockin' Chair AM. Then it was time to start planning for Fun Drive 2012. I was glad to be rehired as a Fun Drive assistant, but I also had time for various forms of promotion for the show Rockin' Chair AM, including making a cute little uh, sculpture, I guess you might say, out of found stuff at home depicting myself as the DJ. The station came out with a coloring book and I was pleased to do a page for it honoring Bill Lisak, the host of Boots and Saddle. And my bio appeared on the same page as Marcel Zama, which was pretty exciting. Here's the t-shirt, custom colored to showcase the eight programs I'd been involved in so far. Fun Drive was a success, but we lost Bill and missed his spirit around the station. By the end of that year, I had taken over as host and producer of Boots and Saddle. I gave up the early rock and chair AM slot and enjoyed making country music my focus in a Tuesday midday slot which Roots and Berries had inhabited years before. Fun Drive 2013 and hosting Boots and Saddle, I had special guests Alexander McCowan in the first half and then... Riley and Kelly came in to play some live country versions of songs like Culture Club's Karma Chameleon, to the delight of those of us listening. I think the hat helped a lot. Also, I had created a giant country music poster for uh, a prize for the show. And I had once again been hired on as the Fun Drive assistant handling the uh, pledges and incentives, this time in the bookstore at the University of Winnipeg. Sometimes I called it rubber boots and bicycle saddles, but mostly I just had fun. And then it was Fun Drive 2014. Sometimes I volunteered as a phone captain and helped out around the station. Here I am with Michael Welch on air, and I hosted my edition of Boots and Saddle with special guests. Two fellows from Cheering for the Bad Guy came in to sing some songs live in the studio and help bring in the pledges. Also had great support in the phone answering department, and a poem came in from one of my irregular listeners. It was a treat and a tribute to some of the shows I'd done. Thank you, James Miller. Anyway, I was also hired back as Fun Drive Assistant working in the bookstore, waiting for pledges. I had a really good run, but that summer I eased out of boots and saddle and took a break for a while before regaining a morning slot, hosting the Black and Red Room, and working again as a Fun Drive Assistant in the University Bookstore. It was 2015 and I felt it was finally time to play CDs, so I began working through the CKW collection, not alphabetically, but chronologically. I was called to the bar and passed, and that summer I even filled in on another morning show. The Native North America anthology was out and I played through it, then was fortunate to have its creator on my show when Kevin House was in town to promote it. I had other great guests on my show, but few and far between, as early morning radio is a lonely affair, yet I felt good about doing it and uh, was able to focus on lots of interesting topics, to me anyway. And then it was 2016 and another fun drive and I was back again as fun drive assistant, working in the booth, carrying on with the black and red room throughout the year. and. Uh, making it to another fun drive in 2017, my 10th as fun drive assistant. But perhaps I was getting past my prime. I gave up on my goal of playing through all of CKUW's 50,000 CDs and in March I retired from radio.